Libras, welcome to your weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from September 12th to the 21st. I hope you guys are doing really good. So I did something a little different in the Gemini video, and I kind of liked it. So I think I'm going to stick with it from here on out. Libras, you get to be the second sign that gets to enjoy this. So... I've already meditated, but now I've started to prep the deck, and I'm so sorry about all that construction noise. It literally just started as I was meditating on your energy, which I think speaks volumes, Libra. Um, so I'm going to actually do the prepping of the deck on camera because I do get intuitive hits that way, and that way you get to enjoy the pre-shuffle with me as I get to see the cards as they come out because I do kind of miss the pre-shuffle. But let's talk about your meditative session first. So I'm actually going to keep my eyes closed in case I get more intuitive hits. So Libra, as I was tapping in on your energy, I was getting a lot of cozy energy, which I really liked. Very cozy, very warm and fuzzy. I think you guys are probably just enjoying your, your season that's coming up. You're very excited for your season. I know you are. So are Scorpio, so are Saggy, so are Cappy. <laughs> so are everybody. Everybody's always excited for their season. But Libra, is, you know, you get to bring in fall, you know, for the rest of the Zodiac. And I think you guys really enjoy that. And some of you are just cozying up at home, getting the fireplace going. If you live in a colder place, no one's doing that here in Cali. Um, but some of you Libras are really, really into that. Others of you are really into loving yourself right now, adding more of that cozy, warm energy to yourself. And Libra, that's beautiful energy. I love that energy for you guys because we are coming into a lot of aspects that are coming into your sign as of the 14th, which is also the full moon in Pisces. We have Mercury and Venus going into Libra and then other signs following soon after, like the sun and then... uh. Mars goes into Libra in October, like I want to say October 4th. I want to say it's October 4th. Anyway, neither here nor there, Libra. So there's a lot of that energy going on for some of you. Then I saw a pendulum. Then I saw a pendulum. Um, and we all know what that's about. Time. Some of you are worried about time. Some of you have a fear about time. I don't know what that's about. Oh, ha! I know who that's for. Hey. We'll talk later. Anyway, that's funny that came through. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I do know Libra who is, who is like that. Anyway, hi. Um, so coming back to the rest of the collective for a minute. There is something about time here, Libra. You could be worried that time's not on your side when it comes to a certain situation or when it comes to work or love or you feel like, you know, I spent all these years investing all my time and efforts into my work, into my family, into my friends, into all these love situations. And what has it given me in return? Some of you are not feeling the returns, Libra. But I got to be honest, I feel like things are going to pick up really fast, faster than you expect them to. Um, I also picked up on something about an audit. I did pick up on something about that and very audit-like energy. You could be... Um, some of you could be harnessing this energy for yourself, going over your own finances or trying to keep yourself in check, trying to keep people in your life in check, trying to keep your life in check in general. I, I do. I, and I'm sorry to say this, Libra, but, but some of you are going to be going through an audit. And I heard spring 2020. OK, some of you guys are definitely going to be going through an audit in spring 2020. Just be mindful of that, especially if you own your own business. All right. So I really I know that sucks. Sorry. I know it sucks. But anyway, Libra. Just want to come back into your energy before I start pre-shuffling the deck here or getting the deck all sorted. I thought I was about to pick up something else. I just want to make sure I got I got all the messages to you that I was picking up in the meditative session. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they're showing me that pendulum again. You really feel like time's not on your side. Some of you could feel like you're a little older, you know, for for certain dating situations or what have you. And hey, guys, age is just a number. Age is just a number. Just saying. Or you could feel like. Oh, okay. Libra, some of you are feeling like your peers are just not at your level of maturity. Some of you are definitely feeling that way and you're getting kind of sick of it. It's like the older you get, the more and more of a difference you see in your own maturity versus other people. And like the more and more you get over dealing with people, okay? Wanting to be around older people, but sometimes that's hard. Sometimes that's hard. All right, let's get this deck calibrated. Please allow messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for those who need it. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Please allow messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for those who need it. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 12th to the 21st regarding love. Yeah, so I can be all Libras. I love that you're loving on yourselves, but I, I gotta be honest, I feel like some of you are giving up on love. Some of you are giving up on love, but you don't want to. And as we move more and more into your Libra energy, you're going to be feeling more of that like push pull, that tugging on like, damn it, I, I'm a Libra. I got to love. <laughs> I'm all about love. That's like what some of you are saying. But a lot of you are just so over putting in time and, and energy and effort and not getting much back in return. And Libras, that's OK to feel that way. It is OK to feel that way. We all go through periods of that. And it's not a bad thing to love on yourself. 
I, oh, I just got some home improvements. What the hell is that about? Hold on a second. Some of you, some of you are, are um, renovating your home. I'm also seeing a lot of fall decor. Oh yeah, well, my Libras, you guys do like your aesthetics. You guys do like to decorate sometimes. Um, but Libras, I, I get the energy, I do. I totally understand. And it's one of those things, you know, like when you stop focusing on it, it just tends to happen. So just know that too, that by focusing on yourself, love will probably start to knock on your door, okay? Also keep in mind that we have been having a lot of retrogrades, Libra, and even through the month of September, all the way through to the rest of the year, we're going to have those last remaining big retrogrades going direct. Saturn goes direct this week. It's going to start making things really move fast, okay? So just consider that and also check your houses. Oh, oh. Check your houses to see what houses will be affected. If any of these retrogrades hit your relationship houses, then that will start to you'll start to see a lot more progress there. Okay. Also, check your north node and south nodes for your car, for your karma essentially, because um, that could also be affected by the north node and south node. Okay. All right. Feels very calibrated there. See so, yeah, any cards that want to come out. Wow, King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh, a lot of thinking. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of thinking going on in this person. This person's thinking a lot. They're not making moves, though. I can feel it. It feels very standstill. It feels, feels very meditative, actually. Very meditative for a King of Swords. King of Cups in reverse on the bottom. Very meditative for a King of Swords. Like, maintaining balance, trying to find balance. Libra, this could definitely be your energy. Would not be surprised. Um... You're trying to figure something out. There's some. You're trying to figure out a person. You're trying to figure out a person. Trying to figure out what a person's all about. And it's like, and it's really feeding that energy of being so fed up with love that it's just like, what's this motherfucker really up to? Like, that's how some of you guys are really feeling. That's how some of you guys are really feeling. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Please bring forth any messages for healing, truth, and love for those who need it for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, it's a lot of cards that just came out. Wow. Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. And then we've got the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius. Again, finding that balance, right? You are a Libra. You do need that balance. With a Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups is moving on, moving forward, but with a new shot at something. Oh, Libras, you, this is the person you want to move toward, but you're not sure. You really don't know if you can trust this person. You look at them as an emperor in reverse. Whether they are or not, I feel like that's your view of them. You know it's a risk. You know it's a risk. You're not sure if you should do it. You really want to because there's something about this person that you can tell there's something very balanced about them. Some of them are leaving a situation right now. I think that's why some of you can't trust this person. You know that some of them are leaving a situation right now. You've also been burned a lot in the past, Libra, and you're not ready to do that again. Some of you, this could also be just work-related because we do have pentacles associated with this. This could be a boss figure or a potential business partner. So keep that in mind. There's something about them you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, please bring forth any other messages of healing, truth, and love for those who need it for my Libra, Summon Rising Venus and Jupiter, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, uh, Libra, mm. you know that cozy feeling? Some of you guys are getting cozy with this person. I like it. I like that for you guys, but you're not trusting it still. It's almost, sorry. Oh gosh, now it's getting dirty. Uh, I, we just got to go there. Some of you just like want to uh, uh, like taste this person and you're just like, I don't, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Like, I really just don't know if I should go there. Any other messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Three of Wands in reverse. Aries energy. You're tired. You're fucking tired, Libra. Page of Cups on the bottom. You're so tired of things not working out the way they're supposed to. You're so tired of it that it's like, I got to be honest, Libra, some of you are kind of afraid to even try anymore, which is like, I, I feel like this person is presenting quite a bit of a challenge for you, but it's something that you need to face. This person's presenting an opportunity for you that you really need to kind of take on. Uh, 
yeah you, you just you really got to take it on libra because you're so tired like i said you're so tired of your ships not coming in of like oh it's there i can see it and then where the fuck is that ship going you're supposed to come back over here you know it's that kind of energy you're like you're so tired of that happening to you i deserve better i just heard i deserve a hell of a lot better and you're wondering if this person's just going to do the exact same thing to you oh libra okay i feel like the deck is pretty prepped so let's go ahead and get into the reading guys Keep in mind, this is a very general reading. This is not going to be for everybody. Like I said, in the intention. So you guys already, so now you guys get to see how I set my intentions. You guys can understand that these messages can't be for everybody because it really is for those who really need to hear these messages. So if it's not your message this week, that's totally fine. Got a lot of other readers on YouTube. They're fabulous. Please check them out. We are working with energy. So just keep in mind that it can be vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. And this reading is for the 12th to the 21st. That is just a timestamp for organizational purposes. So just keep that in mind that whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're guided to watch this and time is not linear okay all right libras let's do it all of a sudden i saw the six of swords mm. yeah libra I, I i really feel like you're you're tempted to just skate by this opportunity i can feel it any messages for my libras any messages for my Libras? Any messages for my Libras regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for my Libras regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Yeah, and especially for those where this is business, you're like, do I need a business partner? <laughs> do I need to work with someone? There's always benefits to that, Libra. There is always benefits. And just like there's cons. There's pros and cons to doing it all bad by yourself. And there's pros and cons to having a helping hand, okay? But just keep in mind, especially for those business owners out there, if you own a business and you're expanding, sometimes you need a helping hand at some point. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. They're showing me all kinds of interesting stuff. What is that? That's not an iguana. It's, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, they're, they're not that, they don't have a big population in the world. There's something dragon. It's like their saliva is highly poisonous. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. You know that animal. They just showed me that. Why are they showing me that? Um, why do I feel like this is your energy, Libra? This is your energy. Okay, Libra, this is your energy. People take advantage of you not realizing what they're getting into. That's what that is. Um, you're a rare bird, you're a rare breed for the Libras that I'm tapped into. There's something very special and very beautiful about you, but also very, very tough. And I think people don't see that toughness until they get bit, okay? <laughs> you could be a cusper, just saying. You could be a Libra score cusper, you know, a bite instead of a sting. But that's what I'm getting with that. I feel like that's your energy. Those, be those animals are beautiful. They're so majestic. And they are on the rarer side when it comes to different animals in the animal kingdom. I forget where you find them. Is it the Galapagos? I feel like there's a couple places in the world. Maybe it's India. I don't know. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Pacific? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Libras, there is something about you where it's like, People do, people have taken advantage and you're fucking sick of that. But then when people take advantage of you, you show them why they shouldn't take advantage of you, right? But it's this energy of people deal with you, they start getting involved with you, and then they try to take advantage or they take you for granted. And then when it's like, when you show them the bite, when you show them the toughness, when you show them, hey, I'm sweet, don't walk the fuck all over me. <laughs> when you show them that, they don't know how to react. They really don't know how to react. And for Libras that I'm tapped into, for a lot of you, I would say more often than not, you engage, you engage with people, they ghost you, they bounce on you, they dip on you. And then it's like, then they go, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Libra was kind of magical. Libra was kind of amazing. Then they come crawling back and you're like, no, <laughs> that's kind of in the case for a lot of you that people like when it comes to you, Libra, the Libras I'm tapped into, people really don't know what they have till you're gone. Oh, and as I say that, the devil came out. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, God, and the freaking devil, Capricorn energy. <sighs> Someone's getting over something or someone. This is you. This is your own. Mm -hmm. I want to say this is you. But why does that feel very, very gray? 
This is interesting, Libra. For whoever this person is that you're getting a presented opportunity with, you both could be in the same place, okay? Because this is realizing that, oh, I don't have to be sad anymore. I don't have to hurt anymore. I don't have to be at a loss anymore. But this devil energy, why is it sticking out like a sore thumb? I feel like this is almost like your bite, Libra. You dragon. <laughs> I, it's such an interesting energy from, a devil, from this devil card. I've never felt energy like this off the devil card before. Because this is, again, realizing you don't have to be upset about anyone anymore. You don't have to feel at loss of anyone anymore. People don't respect you, whatever. They're gone. People take you for granted, whatever. Get out of my life. You know, a lot of you are okay with that. But this devil energy, there's something playful about this but not in a maniacal way. But at the same time, it's like a, like, ooh, it's so sexy and seductive. And then, ow! <laughs> you know, kind of like that. Kind of like you in this, oh God, what's the name of that animal? Oh, it's going to make me insane. It's a something dragon. I know it's something dragon. I know it's blank dragon. I'll just call you dragon. Um, it's that dragon energy of yours that, that you just naturally have that people have a hard time seeing. It's like, play with me. You can play with me, but don't cross the line. Because you can be playful, Libra, and you're also very loyal. You're so freaking loving. You love to make people feel good. You, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. You love to make people feel good. There's there's an energy of mesmerizing with this, like mes mesmerization. Yeah. People are, are drawn into you. They take you for granted, and then they get that little bite. And then once you're out of their their life, once you're out of their life, they're like, God damn it, I miss that Libra. You know, it's it really is a case of you don't know what you have until the Libra's gone. Interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. Some of you are, are really uh, accepting that about yourself and embracing that, which is good. I think that's beautiful. It's not a bad devil energy. It's not. It's just like. Yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> it's just kind of like that. Oh, and as I say that, the Knight of Wands just came out. Any messages for Libra? Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel sexy energy. The King of Wands just came out. Any other messages for Libra regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Wait. Oh, my God. Okay. You're, the overall energy. Anyway. So now we have the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo and the King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. And then we have a Seven, seven, seven of Pentacles. <laughs> seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Libra, like I was just saying, when it comes to you, it's that, it's that perfect saying. Like, you don't know what you have till the Libra's gone. Someone's coming back. I can feel it. And it feels very playful. It feels very like drawn in i have to say something it's like it, it's very kind of like an iris oh uh, yeah it's it feels very irresistible and libras i don't even think you tried to get this person to come in or pull this person in but someone's getting pulled in someone's getting pulled in by your energy and you're just watching them come towards you you're just like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> whether this is the new opportunity that some of you have for some of you this emperor could be someone from your past because with seven of pentacles in a verse i'm getting for some that this is like i don't know if i want to invest in you in this new opportunity situation or for others that it was a mistake to invest in you before okay so just keep that in mind libras for some of you this is someone from your past who's realizing damn i didn't know how good i had it till the libra was gone um and others, it's it's a new person coming in and it's like, I don't know if I want to invest, to, invest in you. You're just going to take me for granted like everyone else. You know, that kind of energy. Overall, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Libra. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Piscean energy. I freaking love that. You're going to be happy no matter what. That, that's that's kind of the stance you're taking. I'm going to be happy no matter what. And whoever I choose to deal with, I'm going to make damn sure there's someone who is deserving of me. Libra, I love this. Okay? I freaking love this. So let's look at this energy first. I got to look at the devil. I have to. Because like I said, this is just realizing that you don't have to be upset anymore over people who have taken you for granted. People who have really underestimated you. People who have really taken advantage of you. You don't have to be upset about it anymore because you are the devil in a very positive, sexy way, okay? You're the blank dragon. <laughs> Let's look at the devil. Um, I'm feeling Santa Muerte. Let's do it. Tell me about the devil. What movie is that from? I just heard a line. 
and I know it's from a movie, but I can't remember the name of that movie. I don't even want to say the line because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to deliver it right. Um, oh my, look what we got here, Libra. Queen of Cups and a Five of Wands. Someone competing for love. It, honestly, that's what I felt with that. Like competition for love, competition for the heart. Tell me about Devil. Libra, the more you harness this energy and accept this energy about yourself, that you are very mesmerizing and you have a lot to give um, and having those boundaries of you're not going to taste from my cup of love until I know that you're not going to take me for granted like everyone else. I feel like a lot of you are learning to set those healthy boundaries and it's really working your favor, making you even more attractive. Tell me about the devil. Some of you are definitely very much playing hard to get with someone. And it's like, I, I just, I like that energy on you. I like it. I like it. Tell me about the devil for Libra regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil for Libra regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Ooh, seven of wands in reverse. <laughs> oh, I love my guys on this reading. Seven of wands in reverse Leo energy. They literally just showed me like such a classic old school like cartoon where it's like, it's like saloon <laughs> and there's a curtain and there's like just a leg. <laughs> Libra, Libra, you're, you're, you're really tempting people. You're tempting people. It's like it's like you've discovered the true mag magnetism of your power of that Venus energy that is Libra, okay? And I freaking love it. Some of you guys are doing this for like the first time. Like, oh, oh, this is what I can do with this. I, I like this. I like this so much. Tell me about the devil. For some of you, there is this newer person. For those where there's a newer person, newer opportunity, they're actually bringing that out in you. They're teaching you. They're teaching you the true potential of your power. Man or woman? Man or woman? Such a sexy reading, Libra. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. It's almost like, why am I crying? I'm sexy. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Tell me about the devil for Libra regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, I'm so happy I did this reading today. It really is perking me up. Let's see what we have here. Yep, five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. Yeah, you're you're just you're over being sad. You're over being sad, you're over feeling upset about whatever people have done to you because you know, you finally know the true power you carry in your magnetism, in your Venus sexy, mesmerizing ways. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. And now you got someone coming right in. Tell me, why do I feel like you're fishing? <laughs> that felt very much like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil for Libra regarding love. Let's see. Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. Waking up. Right? Double confirmation there. Waking up to this. Really waking up again to the true magnetism of your power and how you can use that, um, especially with coupling the setting of your healthy boundaries. As much as you want to love on people, Libra, you've learned your lesson, right? You've le learned your lesson. I can't love up on people because they'll just take advantage of me. So let me really preview <laughs> the goods. And then if they, if they want to come chase or if they want to really show that they're an equal partner or of equal standing or of good quality, let them show it. But I'm, it's almost like I'm not going to really put in any work until it's really required of me. Some of you are learning that lesson for the first time. Overall energy, we do have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. And then we have the Hierophant here, Taurian energy. Wow, a lot of major arcana. And then we have the moon in reverse, uh, which is uh, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Yeah, Libra, like I said, you're coming into this awareness of the magnetism of your power and that you really don't have to give it all up right away just because you really do like to love on people. And it is your nature, but even with our own natures, we have to tweak a little for what's in our best interest, right? But the Star Universe and the Hierophant, I feel like this is you going from not having faith in yourself and in your poss and possibilities in love to having faith because, again, you're discovering the magnetism of you and what it means to be a 
a Venus, a Venus person. Okay. All right. That Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Someone's coming. You caught one. <laughs> you caught one, Libra. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. And they're coming in very passionately too. Very passionately. Um, it will do right away. Let's do right away. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Libra. Yeah, and let's be very clear, Libra. They are coming to you and you're sitting on your throne. Yes, you're in masculine energy, but sitting on your throne nonetheless. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Wands. I, I just, I'm just the messenger. Someone likes to role play. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Knight of Wands. I just heard Sagittarius. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Libra. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Libra. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Libra. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Libra. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Libra regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Libra. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Libra regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. <laughs> Lovers. Gemini energy. This is such a sexy reading. I'm sorry. I'm just really in it. I almost don't want it to end. Um, yeah, someone's coming forward, Libra, and they're like, Libra. Hi, sexy Libra. <laughs> uh, someone, someone, someone cares a hell of a lot about you. This is, a, this is a very intense connection, I have to say. Not only is there passion behind this, but there's love behind this, too. Um, but Libra, you definitely, your energy has beckoned beckoned them in here, without a doubt. Without a doubt, has beckoned them in. Um, but you're really not sure. You're not sure if you should go for it, either because you don't want to get burned again, like in the past, and your boundaries are up. And again, nothing wrong with having healthy boundaries. It's clearly serving you well in this situation. Others, it's someone you've dealt with before, and they're like, look, Libra, we got an unbreakable bond. We got to make this work. And you're like, yeah, I don't know if I need to invest in you again. Okay? So just take it as it resonates for your situation. For some, they might be coming with something in hand. I'm being drawn to... Um, the shiny little shield portion of this photo. I've never even noticed that before, but I'm being drawn to it. Uh, they might come with something in hand. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. And like I said, for some it is business, but this feels really sexual. <laughs> it feels really sexual this is business. Oh, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. I keep hearing Sagittarius. Oh, Libra. Wow. Okay. So after the lover's card, I'll just hold them all up. I'll just hold them all up. So we got that lover's card. Then we have death, scorpionic energy, king of pentacles, uh, taurine energy could also be earth or air, world in reverse, fixed energy could also, which is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn. And then we have a three of pentacles in reverse here. Okay. Cappy energy. And then overall, we got a queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be um, earth or water underneath that. Yep, two of cups. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. What the fuck? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Libra, what goes underneath that? The king and queen of swords. Okay. Libra. Libra. Do you see, are you see, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? We have a king and queen of pentacles. I just, oh, I heard cups. We have a king and queen of pentacles and a king and queen of swords with the lovers and the two of cups. The only things that are bothered, the only two cards that are bothering me in this are the world in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse because Libra, you're not sure if you want this person. The death card is indicating that there is some kind of uh, change, scorpionic energy around this. I do feel for a lot of you, it's actually just sexual, but there's also change here for those where this is uh, an old person from the past or someone that's like Libra let's really make this work <laughs> like Libra let's really turn this into something serious uh or let's just make this work again 
there's something about this energy where it's like, look, I'm different. This is different because they're coming across as a knight. And then they're like, no, I'm really a king. I'm not a knight. I'm really a king. And there's a hell of a lot of love here. And there's a lot of soulmate energy here. But world in reverse of three of pentacles, Libra, you're not sure you want it. You're not sure you want it. I, I'm just baffled at like the true pairs that are out here, especially how the king and queen just came out like that with two of cups. Jesus, with that two of cups energy with the with the queen and the king of pentacles and the lover. I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by this energy. I'm blown away. But the world in reverse and three of pentacles in reverse, that's, that is really bothering me. That is really bothering me. This is a lot of hesitation. This is a lot of hesitation to jump in. They're coming in presenting quite a bit to you, Libra, whether they're old or newer. But they're basically saying, Libra, this is an undeniable connection. And I got to be honest, Libs, I think they're right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. Because look at this, guys. I mean, my goodness, look at this energy. Look at that. That is, that's pretty freaking undeniable, right? That's, that's undeniable. Not to mention with the pentacles and the swords. That's very, very alpha. Very, very alpha. Very power couple here. But yeah, you're really not sure. You're really not sure you want it, okay? Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and then we'll get some advice. <sighs> Libra, you vixen. Okay. Um, spellcasters. Let's do spellcasters. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I don't know if that was a comment to me or a comment, Libra, that you were making about someone or that a crosswalker is making about a Libra, but I just heard, oh, you're so cute, is what I just heard. <laughs> I think maybe you were just saying that about a Libra. I don't know. That was interesting. It was like, I really couldn't tell the difference, but I did hear it. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I can't get over those true pairs. Sorry, I just had a huge wave of like Kundalini energy. Can't, I can't even talk. I just had a huge wave of Kundalini, Jesus, Kundalini energy just come through me really quick. <laughs> some of you, this is a twin situation. I gotta be honest. For some of you, this is a twin divine counterpart situation. And not to mention, you got the Ten of Cups right here as your overall energy. This, this is your overall energy, Libra. I know you're hesitant, but there's something about this person where there's a, not only a serious sexual connection here, but also spiritual, very, very spiritual. And again, very much a power couple. It could just be a straight up business relationship where there's a major spiritual component like being a counterpart or a twin. But then there's a lot of sex. Yeah, but then there's a lot of sexual energy. Libra, this kind of feels like the whole shebang. This feels like the whole shebang. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Talking about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Emperor. I like it. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. And it's funny because I was going to say I'm feeling a, like serious, like serious testosterone energy. And now we have the Emperor. Libra, this is your king. Male or female, doesn't matter. But this is your king, and they know what they want. They're going to make a case no matter what you say. They're going to convince you. And Libra, it's exactly what you've been wanting anyway. Like I said, it's like you're tired of being taken advantage of. You're tired of being taken for granted. All that shit. And it's like so tired of people saying, I didn't know what I had till the Libra was gone. You're so tired of that shit. It's like, yeah, well, now I'm gone. <laughs> right what what benefit is that to anybody um other than leaving you frustrated for for some sexually frustrated as well um but libra this emperor slash king is gonna make sure that you really like that they really show you that they really show you and it's almost like the more you say no the more they're gonna try it feels very taurian i heard a rising i did just hear rising okay so for a couple of you you're definitely dealing with a taurus rising but it doesn't have to be for everybody who has to resonate with this i just heard that as confirmation Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. Ten of cups, ten of cups. Piscean energy here. And then we have the three of wands in reverse, Aries energy, and the Hierophant, more Taurian energy. A lot of Taurus here. A lot of Taurus and a lot of swords, a lot of Gemini and energy. 
I feel like this is energy attached to the Emperor with this. The Nine of Swords in verse and the Two of Swords in verse. They've been coming to this decision for a while, Libra, is what I'm getting. It's almost like they've been keeping an eye on you, watching you, feeling your energy. Temperance on the bottom, by the way. Divine, divine interaction. Divine, Jesus, divine intervention. Fix it, angel card. Sag energy. And I was getting Sag, a lot of Sag before. But anyway, Libra, I feel like this is someone who has been worried about if they can really have you or not. And they're finally like, you know what? I need to have Libra. <laughs> I need to have Libra, whether they're new or old, because God damn it, Libra, you're my ton of cups. They're going to be very, very masculine and persistent about it. I mean, God, it's even making me smile. Um, but I'm a Scorpio. I like that. Anyway, three, three ones on reverse the hair font. Again, this is the shit you've been waiting for that you've been tired of waiting for. Commitment in someone who's actually loyal, someone who's actually going to show up and do like just meet you on a, a level playing field you're so tired of libra of people not doing that for you tell me about seven of pentacles in reverse but this person's doing it this person is doing it tell me about seven of pentacles in reverse tell me about seven of pentacles in reverse for libra regarding love september 12th to the 21st oh that's it overall ooh the high priestess piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader libra you got easier intuition with this i'm also feeling that full moon piscean energy here intuition is gonna be amped up for a lot of people a lot of people and libra there's a couple um aspects in your sign mercury and venus which basically it's gonna be home okay but your intuition is also gonna be quite on point here you'll know what to do You'll know what to do. But like I said, Libra, even if you say no to this person, they're going to keep trying. They're going to prove it to you. They're not going to take no for an answer. They're not. They're not going to take no for an answer. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Very sexy. Very sexy, Libra. I don't want this reading to end. <laughs> Can I do it over? <laughs> this is very fun energy. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Why do I feel like it's? I'm going to get a card about trust? Why do I think I'm going to get a card about trust? Let's see. Any advice for my Libras? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 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 Oop. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Hey, okay. Ooh, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine and hummingbird spirit be here now. 34 breaking down to a seven. So being on your path and heading towards completing a cycle here, Libra, I feel like more that this cycle is really about putting away that old way of being and really stepping into your true Venetian. Venetian? Venusian. Not Venetian. We're not in Vegas. Venusian. <laughs> excuse me, uh, Venusian power here as a Libra, you really have the ability to attract. And like I said, for some of you, you're really coming into that knowledge, right? So, oh, that was weird. So you, I'll let you know, I, I went through a recent upgrade. I swore I just saw a little girl like standing right here. I swore I did. Couldn't have even been as high as the table. Oh. Libra, some of you lost a child. My condolences, but they just showed up. She was very cute. <laughs> it's weird though. She was like, again, she was very short, like between three and six. But why, why do I feel like that's not the age she passed? I feel like that's not the age she actually passed at, but I did see her like very brief, very, very quick. It's to provide you comfort and reassurance that you're, that you're doing the right thing. Sorry. I just now all of a sudden I feel a lot of sadness. Um, I want to get out of that. I want to get out of that. Whoever that's for, you know, 
I just heard, how do I know? You're going to feel in your core. You're going to have like major chills. You're going to know. Like, I swear, she was like, just right here. Um, not going there. Not going there. Okay, anyway, bringing it back to the rest of the collective. Um, so finally coming to that realization of your true power, your true magnetism, your true beauty. I know, sorry, I was like, oh my god, that was so intense. Uh, your true beauty. And with nothing is wasted, you're again, it's like you're tired of wasting your efforts and you're not going to waste your energy. You're not going to waste your efforts. You're not going to waste your, oh God, Libra, damn it. Why did I have to see her? You're not going to waste your love anymore. You're not going to waste your love anymore. Starting now. Okay. Whoever, whoever, I, oh my God, I'm like, so, that really threw me. That really, really threw me. Um, Whoever, whoever's child that was, I feel like I might just be picking up on your emotions right now. Because, damn it, because you know. Okay, sorry guys, we gotta take a little break to, to talk about this before I pull more advice. Whoever this is for out there. Um, for the person who knows, like, who that was. for, And it's, it's one person. It's definitely one person. Um, I'm just feeling your emotions because it's like, it, it's like, it just hit you in your gut is what I'm getting. It just hit you in your gut that it's like, god damn it, okay okay like like that was all the reassurance you needed that was all the confirmation you needed about what the right decision will be for you and that must be for a libra who's already in that mode of being over that that bullshit and who's already probably been confronted with this energy keep in mind it can't be vice versa so libra you could be the one who's like wanting to confront someone and say look like we like we need to do make this a thing or we need to give this a second shot and you're you're approaching someone else about it okay um because it, it can be vice versa but whatever confirmation you needed that was the confirmation you needed and i can feel it you're feeling it in your gut i can like i can really feel it you're really feeling it in your solar for the most part like okay like oh fuck. stop it okay all right let's let's keep it going let's keep it going any other advice any other advice for my libras Any other advice for my Libras? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? I know, guys, that was like, that took a lot out of me. I don't know if I can do Aquarius after. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do Aquarius after this. Frog spirit, clear up the clutter. 28, a cyclical energy. Coming to completions to close out a cycle of a way of being, of allowing people to take advantage of you, of being taken for granted instead of standing in your true power and letting people show you that, you know, basically, com not com well, yeah, basically compete, compete and show you, hey, I'm worthy of you instead of you're worthy of me. Okay, getting rid of those wounds around that. Damn it, this little girl is like still here again whoever's child this is they're they're encouraging you to let go of some things that you know you need to let go of and let's not go down that road of what they are because you already know you already know what they are do the cleaning they're encouraging you to okay overall energy we have pig spirit use your mind wisely 47 breaking down to an 11 here this is using your intuition like i said libra you already know you will know if this is someone that you need to be involved with or not. And I got to be honest, guys, with all this energy, it feels very much like twin energy or divine counterpart energy. You two, you two could also be divine counterparts, but not each other's. Like I, I was talking to Adriana about this a little while back where, you know, as we get closer and closer to 2020 and more and more, more, and more people are waking up and more light workers are coming together, more counterparts are, are connecting that there is this kind of magnificent uh, uh, thing happening with counterparts where they're not like, it might not be like the, their divine masculine or their divine feminine, but, you know, connecting with other feminines or connecting with other masculines where relationships are forming, whether it's romantic or business or just friendships, right? And that's just raising the vibration of the earth even more and also allowing for a lot more healing to happen for individual counterparts. But either way, Libra, you're going to know exactly if this is someone you need to be dealing with or not. And it's someone who really... <laughs> They know you're their ten of cups and they know that you can create a lot together. I'm getting a lot of manifestation energy with this too. They know that you can create a lot together. Okay. Um, 
I need a nap after this shit <laughs> or a drink. I don't know. Um, but anyway, Libra, this was intense. Oh, 44, 44 as I looked up at the camera and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Okay. <sighs> Have a good night, Libras. Namaste.